finally a new flux that will make your head spin from happiness I've been waiting for the day where I make this video as you know for the longest time we have been a major distributor for Inventac Amtec Flux and I preached Amtec Flux for the longest time maybe the past seven eight years and we have sold more Amtec Flux than any company out there now as you know I'm always looking for the better every time we carry an item I find something better we go for the better the microscope that we carry and sell it went through maybe four or five revisions until what it became today we teamed up with a Canadian company that created the flux for us and it went through a lot of testing once I demonstrate how that flux works the benefits and what makes it better you're gonna be amazed so what's special about this flux the new flux if I hold up two syringes okay which one is Amtec and which one is ours we're gonna call it NF dot flux they may look the same right if the camera can focus it doesn't matter I'm gonna show it to you under the microscope anyway the color may look the same but they are totally different they are 100% different Amtec flux is this one here the one I've been using for the longest time it's rosin ours is risen what's the difference between rosin and risen rosin is from pine sap it's a natural material while risen is man-made so how is the risen synthetic man-made flux better than the natural rosin flux it's actually better in every category not just it's better in some ways pros and cons it's all pros no cons cons is with rosin not risen risen is man-made it's created in the lab it's more stable it's more durable it smokes less less odor or maybe no odor at all I was not able to smell any odor at all unless you have a dog's nose maybe you're able to smell something but 99% less odor than rosin flux anytime you use flux that's made from rosin you can smell something it may be a sharp smell it may be a smell that's gonna make your head spin it has not been the case with Amtec flux to be honest I've been using this flux for the past seven years but with our flux no odor okay the most important part comparing risen to rosin comparing our flux with Amtex flux is it withstands a lot of heat and it does not char or burn if I'm soldering a chip and I'm using Amtex flux and I have a lot of videos on YouTube that you can go and watch I'm constantly applying Amtec flux I'm constantly applying flux because flux is burning and evaporating and turning black that's not the case with our flux you apply a tiny bit of flux and it goes a long way and this is not just talk we're gonna demonstrate I'm gonna show you how it works so you're gonna end up using less flux and you're gonna get the job done quicker faster without having to reapply 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 very easy to clean if you have to clean it's very easy to clean and it's non-corrosive and it's non-conductive now one very important thing about the flux it's actually major is this flux is not made in somebody's basement where you do not know what chemicals went in that flux the flux is ROHS 3 compliant and JSTD 0048B compliant what that means is chemicals inside the flux are safe for human beings and for the planet and the flux is safe and reliable for electronics use it's non-corrosive and non-conductive so this is the safest flux in the market a major advantage now everything looks nice when I talk about it everything looks nice on paper but I want to demonstrate we want to see how it does under the microscope let's go ahead and do it and maybe I can compare to Amtec flux the flux that we've been using and selling for the past seven eight years and you're gonna see how this flux puts Amtec back in the dust let's go under the microscope and I have a blue board here I do not know if I should use a red board the blue board the black board the green board I'm gonna apply a blob of flux here and guess which flux this is you've seen a lot of my videos this is the Amtec flux and ours is the clear flux like I said it's formulated in the lab it's more stable it's more durable 
longer shelf life, no odor. It works a lot better under heat than Rosen, than Amtec. It lasts longer under heat. It doesn't evaporate as quick. So you use less flux to do the job rather than keep applying flux. I'm going to apply my soldering iron over the flux, 480 degrees Celsius. Okay, and you can see how the flux stopped bubbling in a few seconds. It became less effective. It evaporated, became less effective, and now it's burning, right? Now, if you look at my videos, you can tell how I'm always applying flux to do a good job. The flux will work if you keep applying, but the properties of frozen flux is it chars, it burns, it evaporates, and it will not last as long as ours, okay? So if I put the soldering iron over our flux, look at how flux is still bubbling. It's fighting heat. It doesn't want to evaporate. It doesn't want to burn. It's fighting. It's still bubbling. It's still effective. So if I'm soldering a component, this is still good. It's still effective. I do not need to apply more flux. Whereas Amtax, I needed to apply more flux. Look at this, it's still active. Still active. Amazing, wow, wow. I mean, eventually I'm gonna burn the board because I have 480 degrees Celsius on that soldering iron. You can see how much longer our flux lasted compared to Amtec. Amtec flux within a few seconds, it stopped bubbling and it started to burn. Or maybe the board under it was burning because the soldering iron is at 480 degrees. Whereas ours, flux kept fighting heat. It kept bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. And from experience, when flux is bubbling, it means flux is still effective. I do not need to apply more. If I'm soldering a chip and I have flux on that chip, as long as flux is bubbling, the joints are gonna come out great. Once flux evaporates, burns, stops bubbling, then I need to apply more flux. And that's why, when you see me working on an HDMI connector or you see me working on maybe changing a 12 VHPWR connector on the video card, I keep applying flux. Every pin, I keep applying flux because flux will get burned quick. And that's Amtax Rosen Flux. Okay, so now let's demonstrate. Maybe I can just apply solder to some component on the board. Okay, and that's an ASUS board, it's a thick board. I don't know, let me pick something. Maybe we can work with this tiny chip, but I need something similar so I can try both Amtax and ours. Maybe we can do this chip, the one on the left and the one on the right this and this, okay? Let me apply our flux onto that chip and I'm gonna apply the same amount to the other chip using Amtac flux. And now I'm gonna be using a different, I'm gonna be using the NF.mini solder pan. I cannot use the big one here. And the NF.mini solder pan, let me tell you the temperature, just a second, it's still heating up. Okay, so I currently have it at 440 degrees Celsius, okay? A lot of heat, a lot of heat. Maybe I can just put a tiny bit of solder on the tip. Not a lot. And we can go like this, okay? Notice how flux is still fresh. Flux is not burning as easy. It fights heat. It's still effective. It's still bubbling. Still effective. Look at this. So if I'm soldering a chip, just a tiny bit of flux goes a long way. I do not need to keep reapplying. I do not know if this is a good example, but we're gonna try it with Amtec Flux. Okay, 
I do not need to do the top. I just want to demonstrate. Look at how the flux is still liquidy. It did not evaporate yet. We still have it on the board. Okay. Let me go here. How many pins was this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is five pins. This one is six pins. Let's do this. Oh, this is our flux. So that's Ampex flux. Okay. And I applied a lot. Right, and let's try it. Okay, you can see how the flux is evaporating. Okay. It becomes sticky. When it becomes sticky, I need to apply more flux. It becomes less effective. Okay. Now I have... Okay, it became sticky. Look, you do not have much liquid left on the board. It evaporated, it burned. If I go back here, look at how flux is still liquid. It's still effective. Okay, just look at the texture. Aside from looking at the pins, just look at the texture. Flux became more sticky. It evaporated, it burned, and now I need to apply more flux for it to be effective again. You can see the difference, how much longer hours lasted compared to Amtec. I mean, I hope you can see it from this demonstration. Maybe I can do it one more time with hours. Let's pick a chip on the board. Maybe we can pick, let's pick this one here. Look at this flux. It's so clear, you can eat it. But do not eat it, of course. Okay, let me apply some solder here. So I applied a tiny bit of flux, apply solder onto the tip, and let's do this. Look at how the flux remains liquid. It doesn't get sticky quick. It doesn't evaporate quick. It doesn't get burned like rosin. Look at this. I'm still using it, and it's still like I just applied it. Let's do this side here. Wow. This is something that, to a technician like myself, it's a dream. It's a dream come true. To have flux last that long, it's a dream come true. So what does that mean to you? It means if you buy a syringe of flux, you can apply just a tiny bit, and it will last you through the job. It will last you throughout soldering that chip. You do not need to apply two, three, four times in order to get the job done. Flux still did not evaporate. It did not become sticky. It did not burn. I hope I was able to get the point across. Let me just quickly summarize. Risen synthetic flux is more stable, more durable. It will last a lot longer. It will last under heat a lot longer. It will not break, char, burn, and evaporate like rosin flux. And you just use less flux when you are doing a job. So if I'm soldering a 12 VHPWR connector, I do not need to use half a syringe to do the job. I can use a tiny bit of flux, and that tiny amount will last me a longer time. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. The flux will be posted on our website by later tonight or tomorrow. And maybe I'll discount the first 100 orders. You can order as many syringes as you want. And the first 100 orders will be discounted. You're going to love it.
The flux is amazing, and I do not like to sugarcoat anything, but this flux is a huge upgrade from Amtax 559 flux. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.